on my way to Koh Phangan. So it's a little noisy here and I have maybe, what, 30 minutes to kill or so. So it occurred to me, uh, how do you never run out of ideas? How do you never run out of things to, how to, how to never add a content? How do I not run out of content? Uh, how is it that I'm able to produce two videos a day with absolutely no signs of burning out? No feeling like, man, am I gonna be able to do this forever? You know, like, uh, isn't that too much? Or isn't this overwhelming me? Or isn't this overwhelming the audience? Or what's going on? Like, you know, Saeed, what's going on? Aren't you gonna run out of ideas at some point? You know, like, are you just gonna keep, what are you gonna start repeating yourself again and again and again? Uh, which I do in some of my videos because frankly, these th concepts need to be repeated over and over. You know, my video, uh, Fuck Society, I watched it already six times already since it uh, got uploaded uh, because it is you know the best video I ever made and uh, six times is not enough I don't even feel like the information there is uh, drilled in there yet <laughs> so I can see myself watching this video tens of times if not up to a hundred actually uh, just because it's so rich with uh, valuable insights uh, that need repetition for the subconscious mind uh, in order for the subconscious mind to finally accept this, assimilate this as part of the mind-body-spirit complex. So, uh, of course, some videos are going to be repeated because uh, they need to be repeated. Uh, however, you know, uh, if I was to look at the channel and the content objectively, I see a wide variety of content wide variety of content and even when it's presented again it's presented with a new flavor with new insights with new perspective so but of course like for example you know the the last few months we've been talking a lot about star seeds and densities and the, the law of one you know that just popped out of nowhere i got introduced to the to the book i started reading it uh, or listening to it and boom new content that I'm now basing a lot of ideas off of. So even when I talk about new topics, it's based now with, the, with a new perspective. Uh, but suddenly, you know, we're talking about star seeds, aliens, blah, blah. Like the first two years of this channel, there was nothing about that at all, at all. Uh, so then clearly I'm never gonna run out of ideas. I'm never gonna run out of content. And in fact, uh, part of the reason why I pursued the breatharian path is because I, uh, I've got to stick around here for a couple of hundred years or so uh, because I am a transmitter of knowledge, of wisdom. That's my job here. That's my mission. So I have to do as much of that as I can before I leave my body. That's my uh, job here uh, to uh, help the ascension process. Uh, and there's so much out there, so much. It's unbelievable. I'm, uh, I just finished listening to the seven uh, uh, hermetic principles. So that will... I already if you've been keeping up with the videos that already made an introduction into the, the content but wait for it it's going to seep in more and more as it seeps in here and it gets sort of processed so so much out there to learn so much so much so clearly you know that the, 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 the whole thing like I could keep doing two videos a day and and it can stay fresh pretty much until I for a hundred years straight up for a hundred years for the next hundred years I could do that now why is that because not only is there so much to learn that's one thing so much to learn and transmit and share uh, not only that that's one thing the other thing is if you stay in the present moment everything is always fresh okay if you stay in the present moment, everything is always fresh, period. Even if you think about a topic that you thought about before and you maybe made even a video about it before, you gain new insights and new perspectives on it. If you're always in the present moment, 
and I realize that as long as I am in the present moment, there is no way in hell I'm going to run out of ideas or things to share or things to learn, uh, things to teach. Uh, that's not going to happen because the, the whole uh, premise of the present moment is that everything is, is, is uh, you're in a state of novelty, uh, like a child. You're in a childlike uh, state where everything is new. You see, I, and I'm sort of, because I've been meditating a lot lately, I am going to Koh Phangan for the second time now, but it re really feels like I'm, I'm going there for the first time. I'm a different person since I was there uh, five months ago. I'm a different person with different experiences, different insights, different perspectives. So literally, I feel like I'm going to this place, and although I was there for a month, uh, I feel like, wow, I'm excited, like a child now. Like, whoa, I'm going to Koh Phangan. You know, as if I've, I haven't even spent a month there. It's going to be a totally different experience too. You see, and my, even my perspective on, on the island will be different than the first time. And I made videos on the island the first time, but now I'm going to make video videos on it again. And it, they're going to be different. Because it's for the freshness of the present moment. So you realize why I'm able to do what I, what I do here. And I'm able to continuously uh, produce content produce uh, because I am in the present you know I, I practice uh, a lifestyle that that supports being in the present moment uh, and because of that things are always fresh everything is always fresh so it doesn't matter even if I talk about the same thing it's coming from a fresh perspective from a fresh lens and uh, that's that's the bottom line basically essentially that's the bottom line is to stay in the present moment to, to, to have a lifestyle that supports uh, uh, living in the present moment not living in the past not living in the future uh, the other thing like I'll, if I am so present this happens a lot after I meditate and I used to do this thing where uh, yeah 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 go ahead yeah I used to do this thing where I uh, I would have like a notepad. I have a notepad thing on my uh, on my phone. I still do. Where I record videos there, like video topics, video ideas. And uh, before I used to like write a bunch, like up to twenty different ideas. Uh, and lately, because I'm again I'm a pra practicing meditation more. Uh, lately, I uh, the, the notepad usually doesn't have more than two video ideas. Because what I do now is actually I meditate and I get in the zone, I get in the flow, I get in the harmony with the Tao, and then the idea just comes to me and it like wants to almost instantaneously be made. The video comes to my head, like the idea will come to my head and it wants to be made right now. Like it's like, all right, now make it. You know, so I actually now like in my notepad where I have the videos, video ideas, there's, I think right now, there's maybe two two videos there, like two two video ideas. That's it. Before it was be 20, 30, and I would think about the idea and I would write it there, and I would want to make a video on it. But then a lot of times I would never get to it because I never, I guess I never, I never had the insight. Uh, I never had the not the insight, but never had the uh, uh, what do we what do you call it? Uh, the muse. I didn't have the muse flow through in a way that wants to make that idea so it was just an idea that popped in but it didn't really want to be made there wasn't enough inspiration inspiration for the idea to be made so but now what I do is I just get in the zone and then I just let the idea come to my head uh, or perhaps it's one of the two or three ideas that I have on the notepad uh, which I only write now if I feel like Yes, I want to talk about this. So whenever I'm in the zone next time, I'm going to want to talk about this. But I, no more. It's usually no more than three videos now in the uh, in the notepad. Uh, because as long as I'm in the present moment, you know, like right now I'm here. I'm waiting for the uh, airplane. Uh, there is, just by sitting here and observing what's around me, there is a bazillion things I could... Uh, uh, learn from and uh, and then teach on uh, or share a, a myriad of things a myriad of things so as long as I'm in the present moment here and now always there's always something going on in creation and if there's always something going on in creation there's always something to learn something to teach something to share you see 
So that's uh, essentially the, the, the foundation of this YouTube channel, this uh, Wu Wei, the uh, effortless action, Wu Wei, the art of doing without doing, and I do without, without doing. I make videos without making videos. In fact, if I feel a slight bit of depletion in my life force, just a slight bit, okay? If I feel like I'm not fully charged, like if, if let's say I am a phone, if, if the phone battery is any less, any less than 85%, okay, if it's up 85% and I get the feeling for it, if it's 85% or above, I make a video. Right now, it's about 85. It's not 100%. I didn't get as much sleep, I'm traveling, but it's 85. It's enough for me to make this video and be in total flow with it. Not, I don't wanna think about what I say. I never think about what I, wanna, what I say in these videos because I know, if my battery is less than 85%, I am not fit to share content, to teach, to learn. I am much better off resting or sleeping or meditating or going for a walk or going for a swim or doing something that elevates, that charges up the battery if it was say 60% to charge it up to 90%, 95% or possibly 100% even. Like my video, Fuck Society, the battery was 100%. 100%, it's the best video I ever made. The best video I ever made, 100% battery. Okay, but if I was to make the same video with a 55% battery or 44, you know, that, that the video would, would not have turned out the way it did. I would not have been able to channel what I want, the purity, essentially, a pure message. And it would have been diluted, and it would have been uh, impure. You see, never ever want to think a Wu Wei, the art of doing without doing. So you take care of the life force. If you feel it's depleted, you take care of it. You raise it up. You charge up, raise the vibration, and you go from there. And so in that state, I am able to flow. I am able to channel. I'm able to be as pure of a conduit for the Tao as I can possibly be. You see? And that's the foundation of this channel. This channel is the channel of Wu Wei. The way I make content, the way I make videos, take note if you want to start your own YouTube channel, if you want to start your own anything, anything, anything you want to start. If you're, one, if you're starting music, don't make music unless you're in the way. You're, you're in harmony with the Tao. Otherwise, don't make, don't make music because it's not gonna, it's gonna be disharmonious. If, it's, if you're harmonious, you're gonna naturally, as within, so without, as above, so below, uh, see, the hermetic principles are beginning to seep in now into the videos. Uh, so if you're within, harmonious, whatever you create without, it's going to be harmonious as well. If I am harmonious within, then these videos, when I put them out without, they're going to be harmonious. And uh, that's how this YouTube channel stands. That's how this YouTube channel keeps going. It, I mean, <laughs> it's quite something, folks, to... Uh, it's, not, it's no easy feat by any means to be able to create 14 videos a week that are good videos, genuinely good videos. And uh, I take an objective stance on my content. Uh, a good artist is not attached to his or her art. I take an objective stance on this content. And uh, it's precisely why I only make the content when I am in flow. Thus. There's a lot of pressure on me in my own life to eat good diet, to sleep, to meditate, to live well, because this is what I do. This is what I'm here to do. And I, I have to be basically, I mean, I've spent, I take five days to make videos, two days to teach. Uh, so five days at least, I have to be sharp. I have to be sharp. I have to be in flow, in harmony. So the content's very good. It's no easy feat by any means. Uh, just like an athlete, it's no easy to show up at every game and be consistent. But when you know the secrets, when you know how to get how to get yourself going, how to be in flow, in harmony, uh, then it almost seems too easy. Like you watch Messi, and it's like football. It's like he makes it look so easy to the point where you think, yeah, yeah, I could, I could do that too, because he just makes it look so easy. But he's uh, tapped into uh, the way. He stepped into getting himself to be in harmony, in flow. So he's in flow. He, he understands how to be in flow. He's showing up consistently season after season. 
so always take care of the life force and the life force will take care of you period take care of the life force and the life force will take care of you and whatever uh, whatever endeavors you're pursuing whatever thing you're creating you're putting out there you're going to be able to continue to uh, create to produce pretty much forever for eternity because it goes on for eternity so if it goes on for eternity you can go off for eternity too okay and that's why uh, this YouTube channel is uh, built to last it really is built to last only a matter of time before we've got a uh, a few million people here only a matter of time okay so uh, thank you to all the uh, patrons for your support thank you to all the patrons for your support and I think that's the bus there they're gonna take us to the airplane so uh, yeah, it's uh, excuse the noise I know it's a, it's very noisy but hopefully you get the message and uh, yeah that's about it and uh, until next time may the force be with you <laughs>